Hi guys, this is Virag from Bionic Buzz and tonight we are here again in the Beverly Hilton and we are celebrating Asian filmmakers and the Asian filmmaker communities. This is going to be an amazing gala. This is the 20th unfor unforgettable gala. Please stay with us because uh, definitely we will get big names tonight. So did you shot it there? Yeah, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what was the show? It was a uh, genius Picasso, the, the with Antonio Banderas. It was the National Geographic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watched it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nice to meet you there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. So uh, please introduce yourself a little bit more for us. Yes, my name is Sebastian Rocher, uh, and I'm here accompanying my wife, who's uh, on Cobra Kai, and I, I'm in this show called 1923 that uh, opens tomorrow on Paramount Plus. Maybe it's a little bit private question because I don't see your lovely wife yet, but... She's right there. She, oh, okay. So she is part of the community. That's what I wanted to yes. ask. Yeah, yeah. So my wife is a uh, Korean, of Korean origin. She's Australian, but of Korean origin. So for her, this is a, a wonderful night. The Unforgettable Night Gala is, is really a wonderful night to celebrate, you know, people of, of um, the Asian community. And I think it's... Um, it's it's about time that they get all the roles at the moment, and I can see so many wonderful actors here who are, I mean, notably, my favorite movie of the year, which is Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which is truly the, be the, the movie that should win everything. I it should win best director, best writing, best uh, photography, best actress, of course, Michelle Yeoh, uh, best supporting actress, Stephanie Hsu, who's, who's over there, who's there, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and K uh, uh, Kwan, I don't know how yes, to pronounce. Yes, me too. He, he was just passing us. Unfortunately, I couldn't stop him. I also working for Critic Choice as a voting oh, member. So oh, actually, uh, we just announced our, um, you know, the nominees for oh, the next year, and it uh, actually the Everything Everywhere All at Once is leading our oh, nominations. Fantastic. So what you just said, it's coming. A dream is coming true because it's, they got everything. It's everything that a movie should be. It's imaginative, it's moving, it, it has unbelievable characters, very strong characters. Uh, it's it, technically extraordinary too as well, you know. Uh, uh, it's really everything that movies should be. Yes, it's mind-blowing and it's really everything together. Imaginative and, and, and beautifully written and yeah, it's everything I love. Yeah, we yeah, talked a lot about everything every, everywhere all at once today, but let's just talk about this gala. So uh, you have an Asian, uh, lovely Asian wife, yes. and um, you are here in this community. How is it to be in a, a white man to be in this community? Well, it's actually, I mean, you know, for me, it, you know, I I've, I've was raised in many, many different countries all around the world, so it's... Being with Ali, actually, for me, I was accepted so amazingly into her family. And I actually am fascinated, personally, I'm fascinated by Korean culture. I, I started studying Korean history. I've started studying Korean as well, actually. And I wrote a script, actually, uh, that takes place all in Korea, based on uh, Korean mythology. And... Uh, you know, so for me, I, I, it's kind of normal. I, I've been, in, you know, I'm, I embrace it thoroughly, but uh, it's kind of a normal thing, you know, to, 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 be, uh, to be welcomed so beautifully in, in this community. So you really, really dig in in the culture. Well, so I, I love it, yeah. The culture for me is fascinating. I've always, you know, I've traveled, to, I've traveled all over Asia, I've traveled to Japan, uh, but Korean culture, of course, through my wife, I've learned much more. And uh, actually, through pandemic, we started watching every K drama, you know, under the sun. So, and it really got me into, you know, the history and the culture of the country, which is extremely rich, and uh, which is why I started learning the language and cooking. I love cooking Korean food. I love cooking, you know, being half French, and uh, yeah. So some wine, maybe. What's that? With some With wine. Some wine, yeah. There's very good Hungarian wine, actually. Yeah, there's my wife over there. Yeah, yeah. There she, is. <laughs> she should join yeah. the interview, maybe. Ali, do you want to do you want to come here? <laughs> I have your phone. Yeah, this is my wife. Yes. Such a beautiful dress, and oh my god. I love this, you guys. 
We were just talking about with your lovely husband about the culture uh, that he really digged in to your culture and he also speak a little Korean. Yes. <laughs> so how is it to be a Korean man now? <laughs> Literate, not illiterate. Literate. Literate. Oh, literate. literate. So who was who was it? Maybe I ask you the other side. That who was it to uh, you know to be in a multicultural relationship to you know to to connect to another culture. I think it, you know it's really normal for us. I mean, I'm yeah. Korean Australian. He's French and Scottish. He speaks four languages. I speak two. Yeah. He's with five now that he's learning Korean. So for <laughs> us, it's very, very normal. So we have a lot of accents and languages in our house. But I think that isn't that how the world is. I mean, everybody that's we're a global citizen. So I think it's really normal now that people travel a lot and are quite multilingual. Obviously, you're multilingual too. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you from? I'm from Hungarian. Oh wow! From Budapest. Oh my from Budapest. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So please uh, just uh, go back to your roots and uh, and update us a little bit. What are you working on currently? What is the, you know what is the upcoming project? I'm uh, working on Cobra Kai, which is on Netflix, and uh, hopefully we're going to announce uh, a continuation of that. We're waiting on Netflix to greenlight season six, so we're bated breath waiting for that, and uh, hopefully we we'll get to continue that. Fantastic. What this gala means for you? Oh, everything. You know, it's so amazing for us to get together and celebrate our community and be seen and just, it's really, really powerful. Because when I first started, we didn't have anything like this. I was not aware of anything like this. Now we're with so many people in this room together to celebrate our community. So it's very, it's very meaningful. Well, I think you have to go soon. It looks like the lights is just gone. So thank you so much for stopping by and please share where can we find you on social media. Uh, the Alicia Hanna on uh, Instagram and Alicia Hanna on Twitter. Thank you. Thank you.